No, he chose not to testify in defence, but that jury, as you mentioned, have now been sent out to begin their deliberations of what they've heard over the course of the past six weeks here at the federal courthouse in Brooklyn, New York, a case which centres on R. Kelly, real name Robert Kelly, one of the most successful R&B music stars of a generation, a winner of three Grammy Awards. Now, the federal prosecutors here have accused the singer of sexually abusing more than 20 girls, boys and women over the course of more than two decades, many of whom were teenagers at the time of those alleged offences. Now, Robert Kelly is charged with nine separate offences, the most serious of which is a racketeering charge. The prosecution case that they put forward was that he ran a form of criminal enterprise, that he used his business associates, the likes of bodyguards, agents and runners, in order to facilitate this lifestyle, in order to procure young women for him to have sex with and then cover up his crimes. Central to that racketeering charge is his relationship with fellow music star Aaliyah. Aaliyah died in a plane crash 20 years ago, but the prosecution cases that while she was alive, R. Kelly both groomed and sexually abused her. Central to that racketeering charge is that he um, bribed an official in order to get a fake ID to marry Aaliyah when she was just 15 years old, believing that she was pregnant at the time and that, they, that he could then compel her to get an abortion. R. Kelly um, is also accused of the lesser charges, but still very serious charges, of kidnapping and crossing state lines for the purposes of prostitution. It's been an incredibly disturbing six weeks of testimony. Um, women who have taken the stand have told how he locked them in rooms, how they had to ask for permission even to go to the bathroom, and how um, they were beaten by R. Kelly as a form of punishment. The jury now considering whether he's guilty of racketeering all the eight other offences of which he is charged. Whatever way this case goes, the music industry and indeed law enforcement also stand accused of turning a blind eye to the allegations against R. Kelly for far too long. Martha, in New York, thank you.